Before coding, yeah, it's always better to write pseudocodes or steps. Okay, let's write uh, our steps together. And first of all, we need a different folder for our HTML files. Therefore, uh, I will call, I will say, uh, create a folder to save HTML files. And as a second step, uh, we should define a function that scrapes the content and return it. So it can be define a function uh, that scrapes and return it. And uh, thirdly, we need to save a HTML file for each web page. So it can be define a function uh, to save a HTML file uh, of this great web page in a directory, in a folder. And number four can be, uh, let's think that we have 10 different URLs of different web pages, uh, or think that we have URL list, which has 10 different URLs, and we want to scrape the content of them and create HTML files uh, in our folder one by one. So steps four is, uh, can we define a URL list variable, first of all, then we can uh, define a function uh, which takes uh, the URL list as a parameter and run step two and step three and for each URL. Uh, Okay, and finally, uh, at the end of all this process, we should normally we should have ten different HTML files in our folder, but to be sure, we should check it. So last step can be check uh, if you have ten different HTML files. Okay, I think we have a good steps definitions and let's start from the beginning. Okay, uh, create a folder to save HTML files. I uh, can just create here like that, new and uh, directory, but I will I want to show something different. And for that you should import OS. So import OS. And let's do it together here. First of all, we should define our folder name, and I will say mini dataset. Well, okay, I want to add a control point here because maybe I already created a, a folder like mini dataset. So if not, what is that pet? Yeah, exist a folder. Then always make clear folder. Okay, it's quite simple and it's fine. It. Okay, as you see here, now we have a folder as mini dataset. Now we will define a function to scrape the content and return the response. And we will combine what we did before here. So let's do it together. Define, uh, I will call it scrape content. We will need URL as a parameter. Response uh, equals i.get URL. Okay. We have a response like we did before. Now I want to check if the HTTP connection is successful or not. So if response that that is called uh, equals 200, then print. Sorry, uh, HTTP connection is, is successful uh, 
record the URL and return response else print HTTP connection is not successful for the URL and return now okay step 2 is ready for now and let's continue with step 3 so in step 3 we should define a function to save a HTML file of the scraped web page in a directory so first of all we need a directory I will call it pet equals and uh, we should have first of all current directory so it is uh, quite easy with os os.get cwd plus and plus folder so this path uh, gives us the path of directory of this mini data set folder now we can define our function Let's save html so as an argument first of all we should give to her save to her and then we should give a uh, text and file name so let's define file name equals a name plus not html because we should want to save an html file here and it's open voice.pet that join and here we should add to where and file name then w is another argument and as if now i can write a right and text okay let's test it uh, if it is correctly working or not so we can just say test text uh, equals response dot text then save html file to where to pet uh, just define here as you see and the text we will give test text and as a name i want to give just example and let's run it okay there is no error and if you open the folder we can see example.html file and let's look at yes you can see html content of the kaggle.com okay now we will continue with step four define a url list variable our url list will contain 10 different urls i will say url list equals like that i just copied past uh, you can add any urls here again okay we have a url list variable now and we can proceed with number five step five define a function which takes the url list and runs step two and step three for each url uh, i will call define a function uh, grabbed uh, mini data set and as a parameter we should give to where and url list I will use for loop here you can use while loop or different structures and uh, so let's do it together for i in range 0 to len URL list okay content equals script content function and so we should give a url so i will give you a list i so, and i want to add some control point here if content uh, is not none then save html file to where and as a text i will give content that text and as a name i want to give i but it should be string so therefore i will make it string okay else uh, i can just pass And print this uh, right mini data set is created.
and that's all. And step five is completed, and and let's run it and check and uh, if our functions are working correctly or not. So I will write here create minute data set to where to pet. We have a pet variable here. Here, as you see, so it is the director of mini data set folder. And as a second argument, we should give some URL list variable, and we have URL list variable here. So this should be enough, and let's run it. So as you see, all URLs are active and HTTP conditions are successful. So we have 10, we should have 10 different HTML files in our folder. Let's check it. Okay, as you see, we have HTML files from zero to nine. So we have 10 different HTML files. Let's delete the example HTML file. And we should check as a number step six, we should check if these are different HTML files, so I will just open some of them. The first one uh, from skagel.com, and second one, ResearchGate, and the third one, title python.org. So, yes, they are all different HTML files, and we have 10 different HTML files. So we completed all steps here and we learned how to script the content of a web page and parse it and we created a mini data set for future engineering sessions. Now we can continue with our next video and we can define our future functions and we can start with future engineering parts. So see you in the next video.